Way back in June, we did a review on the M1 chip in the 13 inch MacBook Pro and we were blown away on how well it could handle 6K B-RAW footage from the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro. That name is still way too long. But now, with the all new M1 Max chip at our disposal, we know it could handle 6K footage, no problem. So for such a beast of a processor, we need to test it with a beast of a resolution. That's why in this video, we're gonna be running the M1 Max through its paces and seeing how well it can handle footage from our Blackmagic 12K camera. Oh, this is gonna get juicy. What's shaking my little M1 processors? My name is Matt and welcome to Viva Media. Just like before, we're not going to get into the nitty gritty details of why Apple Silicon is freaking amazing. We're just gonna get right to it and test this 14 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip in three different tests. We're gonna be testing the general playback with Blackmagic's RAW player. We're going to test timeline playback with multiple streams of 12K footage in a Premiere Pro sequence with and without color grading applied. And finally, we're gonna be doing a good old fashioned export test with the latest version of Premiere Pro. Let's get this thing started. Disclaimer, all of this footage is being played right off the MacBook Pro's internal drive. So we are getting the fastest theoretical playback speed possible with this footage. Not running off an external drive, not running off a network drive, all on here, baby. So first, let's see how this plays back in the B-RAW player, just natively. Open it up and see what we got. We've got some lovely pizza. Let's just go ahead and play and observe. This is 12K, double 6K. This is also 60 frames per second of 12K footage. Playing back without a hiccup, without a stutter. Okay, let's try one more other clip here. Here we go, three, two, one. Flawless. This is, it's more flawless than Justin Bieber, oh my God. Okay, well, so far, it's crushing it. But what if we up the stakes a little bit and we load this footage into Premiere Pro and see how it performs there. I've got Premiere Pro open here. Let's go ahead and create a 12K sequence because we can. We're gonna create a new 12K sequence. As you can see, I have it up there. Let's do full quality playback. See how it does. Oh! We get a little bit of stuttering. Let's try dropping it down to half. Butter. Butter. That's still very good. So let's leave it at half quality now that we've seen what that looks like. And let's apply a quick little Lumetri color on it. We're gonna crush the shadows. Let's raise up them whites. And let's desaturate this a little bit because it looks a little, a little too cranked. And let's add a everybody's favorite, little vignette. Nice and smoky. We've left the playback quality on half. Let's see how it performs with some Lumetri color applied. Still extremely good. So let's up the ante a little bit here. Let's see at half quality, how many streams of 12K this can handle. Let's dry two. Rock solid. Let's try three. Still pretty rock solid. Okay, let's try four. Oh, uh, there we go. I've uh, got a little bit of a stutter there. That wasn't too bad. Five? I've never heard the fan spin on this laptop, but with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight streams of 12K video, it's, it's doing very well. But editing is only half the battle. So let's go ahead and delete these other streams of video. I just want to see how long it takes to export a 15 second clip. So let's go ahead and round this off to 15 seconds. Let's do a full export here. Let's do a quick time file. We'll do it in ProRes 422. And let's go ahead and export that to the desktop. Export, four minutes. Oh, two minutes, one minute. My Intel 15 inch MacBook, oh. it would fire up like this loading the calculator. Oh, nine times nine? <laughs> It'd be really interesting to see how long it takes this same clip to be rendered on our 3080 desktop PC. That'd be very interesting to see. 
I'm just blown away this is being done on a laptop. On battery power. Done. That was less than two minutes. Okay, 15 seconds of 12K raw footage, less than two minutes to export. And that concludes our non-scientific test of the M1 Max versus the Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro 12K's raw footage. I am very impressed that you can get this kind of performance out of something like a laptop. 12K footage is not easy to handle, even for those powerful desktop PCs. It'd be really interesting to see how long it takes this same clip to be rendered on our 3080 desktop PC. So to see this guy keep up alongside those is mind blowing. I am now very excited for whatever they release down the pipeline to see how they up the ante because going from M1 to this M1 Max has been a massive leap and I can't even imagine what's gonna be next. So I pass the question off to you. What do you guys think of Apple's latest M1 chips? Are you impressed? Not impressed? Let us know in the comments section down below. As always, thank you for watching. My name is Matt, we are Viva Media, and we will catch you in the next video. They should have called it the M1 Matt because I love it so much.